Welcome to Chivalry 2. Amber here with what I think are the top three selling points of this game and why you might want to buy it. But whether or not you decide to spend your hard-earned silver on this title, do consider subscribing to my channel for more news and reviews, tips and tricks, guides and gameplay for Chivalry 2 and other awesome video games. This game looks to be a surefire hit for three types of players. First and foremost, those of you that love first-person hack-and-slash games. The original Chivalry was a pioneer in bringing sword fighting to the FPS genre, and this sequel is building upon that strong foundation. The combat is designed to be easy to learn, but difficult to master. There are a few basic attacks and blocks, which can be combined into interesting combos, but only if you get the timing right. For example, parry your opponent's strike before their sword hits your face. Now you can play as an archer in this game. That is one of the four classes. So if you prefer ranged attacks using your bow and arrows, Chivalry 2 has got you covered. Nonetheless, Swinging heavy swords is the core gameplay mechanic, as you'd expect from a game set in medieval times, which brings me to the next group of players who will enjoy Chivalry 2. Fans of epic medieval movie battles. If you like historically accurate battle simulations, there are many you can play, but this game is for those of us that prefer a more Camelot-like fantasy setting, like you'd see in Lord of the Rings, or in Game of Thrones, and even some of the dark comedy of the Monty Python movies. There is a lot of blood, gore, and dismemberment here, but it's presented in an over-the-top, comical way. In other words, this game doesn't take itself too seriously, and I personally do appreciate a bit of silliness in my video games, such as the ability to throw chickens at your enemies. These sandbox battlefields have lots of things to interact with and turn into weapons, like pitchforks and tomatoes. Yet, it's not all fun and games, because your teammates are depending on you. Let me be clear, Chivalry 2 is an online multiplayer game, which will be a deal breaker for some, but a huge selling point to the third group of players who may be sold on this game, brave knights who thrive on the challenge of dueling it out with other players, not massive dragons or hordes of AI-controlled enemies. There is an offline single-player training mode, but there is no single-player campaign. This is an online multiplayer fighting game with up to 64 players on a map. There are three major game modes, Two are team-based, Team Objective and Team Deathmatch, and the other is a free-for-all, everyone for themselves in an all-out massacre. In the team modes, you fight for either the Mason Order in red and black, or the Agatha Knights in blue and gold. What do you think about this game? Let me know in the comments. This is Amber. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.